Yo, welcome back to MWO Showdown, your official source for all the latest news, action, and information in and around the Michigan Wrestling Organization. I'm your old buddy Hal. He is a, the incomparable Uncle Hector. And ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Summer Smash. It's right around the corner. Our huge 15th anniversary of our Summer Spectacular, August 26th at the Flint Flea Market. And ladies and gentlemen, one of the most anticipated rematches in quite some time. It's going to be a co-main event in this. We learned earlier it was going to be inside the confines of a steel cage when Christian Clayton will challenge Jack Price for the Michigan Wrestling Organization Championship. I mean, the last time these two met, it, it was nothing but extraordinary, Hal. It, I think they're going to create that magic again, Hal. They certainly are, a, are capable of doing that. Two of the brightest shining stars here in the Michigan Wrestling Organization, and they will be in the spotlight of another huge supercard at Summer Smash. Price will put the title on the line against Clayton. And, of course, who can forget... That incredible ladder match that they had at WrestleRama. I'm certainly not going to forget it anytime soon, Hal. I mean, that thing, that ladder match was match of legends, Hal. Uh, you're absolutely right. Ladies and gentlemen, standing by, let's go to the bridge in Flint, Michigan and pick up uh, some uh, some interesting comments between the champion and the challenger. <laughs> Our opponent is Kristen Clayton. Kristen, you finally got your rematch. It took you, how many, how many months is that? One, two, five months to get a rematch, Christian. <laughs> five long months. You was in the back room, pouting, coming out, screaming, with the basher. I'm number one contender. I get my rematch clause, and then we had a pocket puss come out and talk about he loved turtles. <laughs> So, Christian Clayton, please come out and let me congratulate you for finally getting your rematch. Are you serious? That's my opponent in two weeks and he's so precious. Mind let me in? Yeah, they got it. Christopher Saint and the best of five and he winds up breaking a bone in my foot. My doctor, Dr. Nozatal, will not clear me for six months. Six months, Jack. I gotta be out. I'm losing an opportunity to get my title back. Shut your mouth. So for six months, I've got to rehab a broken bone in my foot. I might even have to have surgery out here. How great is that? So now you're telling me I have no match. You have no match at Summer Smash. Smash. But in six months, that puts us around Bunkhouse Brawl. And I'm going to go ahead and throw my name into the brawl first. And come WrestleRama, it had better be you that I'm looking across the ring at. Yep. So whoever you face at Summer Smash, and whoever you face between WrestleRama and them, good luck. I kind of feel bad. I don't know why I feel bad. But Clayton, I'm going to see you in six months. Yeah, you will. Six months. I hope you win the brawl. Get some yeah, sweet, he, count your sheep. The, oh, yeah, he listens. He listens to my rhyme. Yeah. Listen, Cody Lee. Yeah.
Jack. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was making the world think he didn't exist. But Jack is here to tell you that this devil exists. And come Summer Smash, I'm going to bring you hell, and I'm taking my title. Unbelievable. Well, Hector, there you see a Christian Clayton, you know, has become almost obsessed with the Michigan Wrestling Organization Championship ever since he lost the title uh, to the, the captain of Team Greatness, of course, Jack Price, back at WrestleRama. That right there it demonstrates a man who may be on the verge of desperation. Desperation, how he's a little psycho. He can't even remember who he is sometimes, but then again, neither can I. So, it's all good. Is it really? Because right now, we're going to pick up this match in progress, ladies and gentlemen. Our very own Uncle Hector is going to go one-on-one -on -one with his returning nephew, the Spanish Fly. I'm so strong! My Uncle Hector! I did not know Uncle Hector had that in him. I, I just thought he had just enough to be a commentary on a showdown with Hal. Absolutely, that man has all, all the time in the world. Nice takedown there by Uncle Hector. And the Spanish Fly is in big, big trouble. I feel kind of funny saying that broadcast board and tights are but that's okay. Nice hip hop, sir. My Uncle Hector, could he be setting up for his famous flipping dude? It's a possibility. I'm wondering if he's going to try it. Oh, beautiful power slam. That was a closer. The cinnamon twist. Who's up? Who's up? Here it goes. Here it goes. Cinnamon twist. He hits it. Oh, no, he's done yet. Here it comes. The fans want it. The fans want it. Here it comes. Oh! He gets a flippy two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Uncle Hector. Well, there you go, Hector. Big victory for you as you make your way to Summer Smash. Of course, the Spanish Flies are still on the comeback trail here in the MWO. He's on the losing trail, Hal. He, he comes out to, to his little guitar hero music, and he's all like 90 pounds soaking wet with a brick in each pocket. I'm just, rah, 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 rah. oh man, we, we should we should feed that guy to, to crisis. He might win a match. <laughs> all right, well, ladies and gentlemen, when we return to MWO Showdown, we're going to talk more about Summer Smash, and also, we're going to... Look at this conflict between the Flatliners, Scotty Freytown, and Kremlin. And ladies and gentlemen, a one-on-one -on -one match has been signed between these two. And you won't believe when and where it's going to take place. All that, plus our big main event, Skulls Apocalypse one-on-one, -on -one, when we return. <laughs> 